Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my apartment. I wanted to do a little bit of a Valentine's Day decor tour. One of my goals this year is to decorate more for all of the glorious holidays, not just Christmas. And I think it makes life a lot more special. Um, I got everything you're gonna see from the dollar store or the Target dollar spot. So this is also decorating on a budget. So come on in and I will show you all the cute little pink and red and fun Valentine touches. All right, starting here in our entryway, I have always had this little candle display that I kind of move around the house. So the only thing that I added here were these adorable little plastic hearts from the Dollar Tree. I got a big bag for a dollar, and I don't know why, I just think they're so cute. They look like little pieces of candy. They're like kind of satisfying little pieces of plastic hearts. And I have a mix of one reel. It's actually kind of smoking candle and the rest are artificial here so that's just kind of the greeting display then coming into the kitchen i have a few touches around the room here and here i have a little valentine assortment that i made almost entirely from the target dollar spot this tray is from the dollar spot and you can't see it but it says hello love and it's pink so it's very cute this little embroidered towel with this beautiful wreath pattern was also from there I can't remember where this bowl is from. I think this heart bowl is from Amazon actually, but pink starburst in there. These matches were actually a gift and I just thought they were so pretty and so perfect because they say love. And I love these ugly, funky little fake <laughs> plants from the Target Dollar Spot as well. They're just so cute. Anything that's a combination of pink and red always has my heart. So I just had to get these little fake succulents. So, so cute and fun, right? So cheesy, but I love that stuff. Then of course I have a candle going. It's the Winter Candy Apple, probably my favorite scent ever from Bath & Body Works. And since we're still in winter, although it doesn't feel like it <laughs> here in LA, that is very appropriate and it smells so good. And then this is also from the Dollar Spot. It's supposed to be a little box you can put treats in, but I just thought it was a really nice little piece of decor. And then also on this tray, I have this adorable embroidered little heart with like a little lace fringe. My mom knitted this for her best friend who then gave it to me years later and it's just really special and I thought that was a perfect addition to have a little sentimental touch and very valentine-y. Well, I just put this like cake cupcake tray out. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it but I thought this was appropriate for Valentine's Day. It's part of a three-tier cake stand that I'm using the other two tiers for toiletries in my bathroom. So I have this out in here. And maybe I'll put some nuts or candies or something on there just to have it have a purpose. And I can always carry it into the other room if we have people over and it's like a snack tray or something like that. And I'll just quickly show you what scents I'm using. I really wanted to get the Mrs. Myers rose, like the whole line, and I was late and this was all that was still in stock at my Target. But I have to say it smells so good. So I have the rose counter spray and I got the peony scent dish detergent, dish soap. This, you guys ask about this a lot, by the way, this is like a, a stand that I got at Target probably like a decade ago, like 10 years ago. But I do like that it holds the dish brushes. It's like really convenient. So you might want to look for that. It's by the brand OXO. And over here I have the winter candy apple and the hand soap and the lotion so that it can kind of fit my scentscape. As you know, I always have a scentscape between the soaps there the candle and then also this air freshener is in the same scent. So that's kind of the greeting when you come into our home, that fresh winter candy apple scent. And over here I have the Enchanted Rose from Beauty and the Beast. This was a craft that I made a DIY with family. It was so much fun and I love this thing. It usually lives in my office, but I was like, obviously it has to come out for Valentine's Day. So that's there. And I can do a tutorial on this if you guys want to see that. It's just from Cheap Supplies at Ikea. So I'm moving over to here. This is our coffee station. And this is exactly like it normally is, except I added more of these little adorable plastic hearts. And I also put out these two mugs, which are maybe like <laughs> my top favorite possession. I don't know. I just love these things so much. They're obviously Cinderella and Prince Charming, and he's kissing her hand, which Nate always kisses my hand, and I think that's so sweet. And the other side says, a kiss takes care of anything. So I just thought those deserved a special showcase for this Valentine season. And I can take them out to make coffees or 
um, use them a little bit more often and have them as decor when we're not using them. And then I also have these two pot holders. They have little silicone type hearts on them from the Target dollar spot. This is normally out. It's my vintage creamer and sugar, but I added a couple little hearts there, so that makes it kind of festive too. Also here I have these two tea towels. This one is from the Target dollar spot. It's just pink stripes with a little fringe. And this one I embroidered, and I thought that was really kind of cute with the cupcake. So that is out for Valentine's Day. And then I think my favorite touch in the whole kitchen was that I went to town on the fridge with vintage Valentines. And I have always been obsessed with vintage Valentines. They just combine all of my favorite things because they combine cuteness, cute illustrations. Usually they have really cheesy puns, which I also love. And of course they're vintage. So I got a set of 50 of them on Etsy for a printable for like $3. So I will link that below. And I just picked out some of my favorites from the set and I printed them. Like, I mean, look at this. It, it's lamps. Like, who decided lamps were Valentine's decor? I just feel like people used to be really charming with their sense of Valentine sensibilities. So I love these things. And I thought it would be fun to have them um, kind of like vintage die cuts, but I just printed them myself and cut them myself. And that one's like even kitchen appropriate. So. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of a fun little display there to enjoy those Valentines all season. And then over here on my mug rack, this is a wall rack that I got off of Amazon. I am a huge mug collector. I am addicted to mugs. I use them all day, every day. So I rotated out a little bit my display so that these top three rows especially are like couples Valentine themed. So I have Mickey and Minnie, the most iconic <laughs> Valentine couple ever. And then these two aren't supposed to go together, but I thought they worked together. Mr. Right and Hello Gorgeous. These two donut mugs, so cute. These were a gift. These two, Beauty and the Beast, these were a gift. And I just think those work so cutely together. And then these are part of that same Disney couples mugs line. It's Lady and the Tramp, obviously. And when you put them together, it makes a heart. So these are really cute. And then donuts, that's always festive. And then they aren't a couple, but they look cute together. So that's my specific arrangement for Valentine's Day. And I always love having my mugs out to enjoy. Nate has his little like manly row at the bottom. <laughs> and that's the vibe in the kitchen right now. I'm gonna show you the lights out because I think it's just very cozy. I always have these twinkle lights up. They are just like piled against the wall on the tops of the cabinet. So it makes like ambient lighting. And then along the bottom of the cabinet, I just put these little adhesive clear command hooks that you can get at like Target or Amazon or wherever. And I just strung the lights up like that. So it's really nothing fancy, but I do think it makes very cozy lighting in here. I'm very pro twinkly light, as you will see. We have a Valentine doggy. <laughs> this sweet lady wanted to put on her Valentine bandana, which I just made from cutting a piece of fabric. It has little hearts on it. DC, come here. I've been trying to dress them up more this year because I just think that's like kind of fun to give them a little outfit of the day. Isn't he so dapper in a bow tie? I mean, he just belongs on him. He's so cute in a bow tie. DC, you look so cute and handsome. <laughs> I got him a pack of doggy bow ties on Amazon. So he has been dressing up every day. You're so good, boy. And then I have a little bit of a Valentine tablescape here. This is our extremely low profile dining table. We live in an apartment in Los Angeles, so it's like kind of had to deal with the space issues. <laughs> and so I found this table that the chairs just tuck in really nicely and it's a great solution for apartments. So I have that, nothing special, but it is where we like to have our romantic meals. And I thought these placemats from the Target dollar spot were just to die for, so cute. I'm loving the wreath and hello love. Then I put out these pink cloth napkins. I try to keep fresh flowers in the house. They're so tr cheap at Trader Joe's. And I'm trying to use a lot of doilies because that's of course perfect for Valentine's. And then I also just have this red candlestick. So we eat all our meals by candlelight. <laughs> it's very romantic. So in here, this is just the usual scene in my living room, except kind of went on a bonanza here and I put out these 
faux rose petals in rose and pink from the Dollar Tree. And they are some kind of cheap fabric, not paper. But as I did it, I thought, huh, I wonder if that's like a fire hazard because I do have a candle here. So I haven't lit this candle. I'm thinking <laughs> maybe I won't, I don't know. But it's Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint Scent, which is just perfect because it's pink. And even if that is kind of Christmassy, I just love the peppermint scent that they have. So I thought that was a really fun and very festive centerpiece for our coffee table. And then over here is just a little more twinkly lights. I kept a strand out from Christmas and I wove in this vine of faux red roses. So that just kind of made it seem extra romantic. And of course I have our fireplace going on Netflix. So that's the scene in there. I think it's just nice and cozy with ambient lighting again. I always think about lighting when I'm putting out decor and trying to kind of set a mood. So I want this to be a cozy romantic mood for Valentine's Day. And just since it's still the winter season, it just seems appropriate to have like that extra cuddly vibe going on. Over here is our little bar cart, which also has my record player on it. I put out this record, it's a Christmas record, but doesn't it look so Valentine-y? It's Julie Andrews. So that is out, plus some more of these delicious little plastic hearts. Then in the bedroom, I didn't do much, although I did put out a little surprise for Nate when he gets home. He's gonna be already surprised by all of the Valentine's decor, but I just wanted to give him a little early mini Valentine. Not a huge thing at all, but just restocked his favorite mints that he carries. He always has quite delightful breath. And he always has these Listerine strips on him. So I put those with a red bow and I thought I found these tags at the dollar spot. Aren't these so cute? I just love that little illustration. And I wrote, we are meant to be, cause I'm very cheesy. And I also wrote him a little love letter in this envelope on the back. So that will just be a little something for him to come home to <laughs> in addition to the ridiculous amount of decor that he's not expecting. And then on this side of the room, you guessed it, more twinkly lights, more fireplace. <laughs> Nate got the TV of his dreams for um, Black Friday. So when that happened, our old TV came in here. We are both kind of like not TV in the bedroom people. Whoa, those lights are freaking out. I need to turn those down. Um, but sometimes when Nate's out of town, I can't sleep unless like HD TV is on. So we have had this extra TV in here and it's like very modern American family of us to have so many TVs <laughs> in a small apartment. But what can I say? The fireplace is cozy. And then I have twinkly lights going. We all know how I feel about twinkly lights. If I ever run for president, it will be on the twinkly light ticket. <laughs> I am very committed to my twinkly lights, but again, they just make such a nice ambiance. Once I turn them on the right setting, they will. So that is that. Oh, and then I didn't even acknowledge, but I put more, oh my gosh, this, this needs to stop, okay. And then I forgot to even mention that I put more of these fake rose petals out. I just feel like rose petals, especially in the bedroom, is so romantic, even though they're just cheap Dollar Tree ones. So, and you know I'm loving all the pink and red, like all the excuses to have my favorite colors out. Okay, and then coming down the other end of our apartment to my office, I have this hanging on the door. This is also from Dollar Tree. I thought this was so cute for a dollar. And my grandma used to say she loved me to the moon and back, so it's really sweet and nostalgic for me. And in here, I don't have anything much different going on except for a Valentine's tree. I have this pink tree out in here at Christmas time and I packed it up and I put it away with all the other Christmas stuff. And then while I was putting out Valentine's, I started thinking it's just wrong not to keep my pink tree out. So I need to get some red heart ornaments. That's obviously gonna really make it. I need to see if I can find any at like the dollar store cause I'm trying to do this decor on a really nice little budget. But for now it is pink and it is glowy with twinkly lights. And that makes me happy. And I also have this puzzle on the floor because this was a gift from a dear friend and Nate and I had so much fun putting it together. It's obviously my girl Cinderella. So I have to frame it and I haven't gotten a frame that will fit it yet. So for now it is there, but it kind of fits in with the Valentine's. So let's just go with that. I mean, of course this whole room fits in with Valentine's cause it's just all pink everything. Cause that's the way I like it. I should probably put something 
little piece of decor right there too. These trunks are from Amazon. Everybody always asks about them. They are beautiful, decorative, metal, pink, like perfect baby pink trunks with this gorgeous rose gold hardware. I love them and I store craft supplies in them. So I will put the link for those if they're not sold out right now. They often are. And now my decor is truly complete because my Valentine's here. Hello. Later. Hello later. Did you see her do that? Hi, honey. Hello. Happy Valentine's early. Thank you. I gave him a little tour of the extra displays. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you don't it's mind? Very, no, I don't mind. Who could mind? <laughs> You're so sweet, Like she put these all over. I put a little hearts. Don't they look like candy? Yeah, I want to eat them. It's a little em. misleading. You know, I already know what I'm going to wear for Valentine's. Oh boy, what? <laughs> My birthday suit. <laughs> which is ironic. Your Valentine's suit. Yeah. Which is a real suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just to start out. Okay. Okay. Just to start. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> We're going to let him go relax because he had a okay, long day. Thank you, thank you. But, but I'll relax in the comfort of, of this pink uh, and red very pink. romantic wonder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My favorite is still the monkey, though. Did you show them? Yes. Monkey. Hey, can I give? Oh. Can I do one thing for Al Jose special? Yeah. One thing. Oh boy! I know you're decorating me now. <laughs> I'll never you wash look again. You so cute with the little heart. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Kiss heart. All right. He's been Happy Valentine's incredibly Day, indulgent. Yes. Happy early Valentine's Day. I'm gonna go put on my yeah. Valentine's suit. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash your face. Yeah. Skincare is important. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my home, how I've added some fun touches. Like I said in the beginning, I just think it makes life more special when you take the time to make things special. And it really doesn't take a lot of effort to put some seasonal touches around the house. And that sense of like the changing seasons and little tiny holidays to look forward to just kind of gives life more meaning for me and makes my home feel cozier and more special and like fresh and different. So that's something I'm working on doing more of this year. So definitely hit subscribe if you're feeling the same way. If you want to stick around for more fun home cleaning, decorating goodness, stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the comments and see you in my next video. Bye.